so after coming back from the range, there's a few things that happen. One is that sometimes we have leftover ammunition that we didn't use. And it's because we already hit a node, or as we know with the 308, we hit that perfect 2.0, and we weren't going to mess with that, so there was no point shooting off any other ammo. Um, I did test some Hornady cases as well, and I, once I hit my powder zone in that, there was no point going any further. And I did have some test shots which were pre-made in a lesser powder than what we found was um, our node. Um, so what we're going to do now, they don't go to waste. So what I'm going to do is show you how we recover the projectiles, the gunpowder, and salvage the case, salvage the primer, um, so we can use it all again. A little bit of recycling. So pulling the projectiles is actually a lot easier than you would think. You basically just unscrew the back of the bullet puller slightly until your bullet sits in there flush then you tighten that up and we hit it on the concrete there you go until you hear that it's let go so now we have the powder and the projectile in the base here so now i'm going to carefully unscrew the back of it pull out the case and in an empty container, I'm going to carefully pour in the gunpowder and the projectile. And then I'm going to separate the projectile from the powder. And once I've done all of the, um, all of the spare rounds, we're going to empty it back into our gunpowder bottle, ready to use for next time. Put the cases aside. So how this works, you'll notice that it has a dome. So you go in from the dome end and then the flat end sits right on there. And I'll take it to the concrete and give it a hit. And you can hear that it's rattled out. There you go, you're officially a recycler. So now we'll uh, collect the uh, projectiles. And put them back. Oops. Straight through the hole and straight back out again. And we'll put these away for next time. Now the cases, even though we haven't fired this round by pulling the bullet, we have in one way changed the neck tension. So how do we fix that with a primer in it? Wow. Remember my trusted Lee tool, the one that I first started reloading with and I never threw out? That always comes in handy for these sort of things. So basically what I do is I use this upside down, which doesn't allow the primer to hit anything. And remember the primer is slightly past the surface. I'm gonna push it up to here as much as I can. And try to use both hands. I'll bring it to the edge of the table here. It's a little bit stronger. And I'll give it a little tap. I 
until it's flush. And that has now resized the neck. So what we're going to do now is tap it out. To tap it out is quite simple. We insert the rod in here, give it a, a little gentle tap. It has now resized the neck, but I am going to run them through my mandrel to make sure that they're exactly the same as the other cases that I have. Here you are, nice and flush again. And a little tap. Ready for the next one. Now, if you do need to remove the primer from the case for whatever reason, you can do it safely. All you've got to do is press it out really slowly. Obviously, with safety glasses, just in case it does go off, um, it'll more startle you more than anything else. But um, I've removed maybe 100 primers in my reloading days, and I've never had one go off. I'm sure others may have, but I haven't. So now that we've finished that procedure, we're just going to swap out our dies. I'm going to put my Wilson mandrel die in. And we're going to mandrel the cases. Now, before we do that, we have to open up our, um, our lube for the neck. Pop that in there. Quite simple. Right, we'll have to change the, uh, the 308. Quite simple. Put that there in for now. We give the a nice coating. Pop it in, and that's it. That's done. Nice and simple. And we've returned the neck size and the neck tension to before where we started. And because the mandrel has nothing to do or go anywhere near the primer pocket, it still leaves it intact. So it's perfect. It's always nice when you get into a bit of a rhythm. It definitely speeds up the process. This is the uh, Starline brass before I did the um, the Hornady brass. A few more cases to go. So we've been able to salvage the brass, the projectile, the powder, the primer, all of it. We didn't waste anything maybe a granule or two of gunpowder. But we're gonna make sure we clean that up before we fire up the annealer. Anyway, we'll go over through this again as well in the next episode. See you then.